Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to your extended for the new moon in Scorpio. Yes. So, uh, yeah, I did my clarity spread. I haven't done that one in a long time, but I was compelled to. A lot of information came in this morning for this, you guys. Like, a lot of, like, pull, push and pull energy that's coming through with this. A lot of, like, you know, secrets being hidden but be coming to light. And I feel that, like, there's a lot of camera flashes, with, especially with this Queen of Wands that came in. If you haven't seen the reading this morning, I would go see that. There's a lot of half-truths, mistruths, everything that's coming through and you're going to have to work through this. The best way that you can do, um, I feel Pisces, is to really work on yourself and really push out uh, stuff. I, I'm taking from the soul cards but the card the card at the bottom is really yelling at me right now so um, I think that's the one I'm going to pull and it's, um, I may pull another one but I'm going to take this one for sure. Uh, Oh, okay. So I'm taking both of these. Okay, both cards at the bottom. And I feel very much this is what's going on, okay? I'm getting the, the, um, what was that? Okay, I heard something. Did you guys hear something? That was odd. I don't have anything around here that makes that noise. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it at that. But it was kind of like a screeching noise. I don't know if you heard that. It's like something screeching at me. Okay, so interesting. Um, distractions, the Queen of Wands. Like I said, if you haven't seen the reading this morning, go and see that. These are soul cards. They have no book to them. It's for your own interpretation. Um, this always, I don't know, right away I had the... Um, the Hierophant card come out. Like as soon as I heard the Hierophant card. The Hierophant card for me is a card that's very much at odds. It's the teaching and learning cards and it's about change. I always put it to religion and um, there's a lot of things that are out of date. Not only with religion but with the world that we live in. And implemented those changes as we go along. It's going to be very painful, okay? It's going to hurt a lot of people because it is what we are used to. To get out of what we are used to, to go into the new is so hard. So I am feeling that right now, okay? I feel that. And I feel like the, the orange that's in here from coming in from the Aries uh, full moon, it's been propelled by the Aries full moon that was just here. And I feel like he's holding up his hand to all these equations, but for some reason I feel like this is, it's not adding up, okay? There's light being put, but it's, it's, I have no idea. I have no idea why I feel this way, but that's what's coming through. Like, it's not adding up. It's, it's almost a hand coming up and going, wait, 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 I need to explain myself, but nobody's listening. So it is, it's the world trying to talk up, um, uh, over each other and I was talking about I do believe I was talking about that this morning where you're gonna see uh, news things you know like one's dispelling the other's truth but is their truth right you know so it's just I feel like there's a lot of a lot of that energy coming in and the second card underneath right here right away uh, as these leaves, okay, look at the leaves, the leaf pattern, because we have leaves falling. I feel that that's what we've been stuck right here. However, if you look at the face of the person here, even though they're in the darkness, which is Scorpio is, deep dark secrets, okay, I feel that in your own darkness, you can use this time to really find stability and happiness. If you just look at this face, this is the face of peace, okay around not so much but there here peace okay so i feel that this is like the the stuff coming around you but the thing is is that one of them is coming out of his head okay so you may at times feel like you want to join in to um i don't know voice your discontent and I would say, yes, but do not put too much of your emphasis there. Not at this time. Not especially if there's a lot of people talking at the same time. Because your voice 
will probably kind of get caught up in that, um, I don't know, in that crescendo. Okay, so I'm going to continue. There's another card underneath here, and I'm going to stop with this one. Uh, I don't know, I, I did shuffle these a lot before I came on, so I, but if you look at this, this is, this is where I, I would rather see you right here. Okay, there's a rose, this may, and it's not bloomed, it's just sitting here near her lips, waiting to be smelled, like the, the promise of good things to come, and there's a lot of thinking. Like I've said this morning, I'm going to be doing the Hermit card tomorrow in your need read, so I feel this very much suits what's going on here. I feel that in the darkness that is surrounding us, look at all the darkness here, look at all the darkness swirling around us here. Okay? I feel it in the darkness that's surrounding us. You're holding the light. Okay? And this is this is the important one. You have to hold on to this light. These cards are so profound. Ugh. If you want to read intuitively, get the soul cards. This is the first one, soul cards one. Uh, they're, they're remarkable. If you get intuitive hits off of anything, these cards are going to speak to a very um, intense part of you. A very deep part of you okay all right so here we go dad hello John 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 is my father was my father in real life died in 2010 uh, his physical body died uh, he has since then been in communication with me because he was loud he was loud in life and he has remained loud in in spirit <laughs> he does usually speak to me through songs or this one little deck of cards that he used to play cribbage with all the time. I have uh, added to this deck with another my own. So it's like I had adding my energy to his. And um, yeah, he would have liked this, this other blue deck too. Come on, you would have loved it. Look at this. Look at this. All this flash, okay? Plus the darkness of it really fits in the hiding of the secrets. So I'm going to clarify these cards here at the top. Those of you who have been here a long time, you know who John is. You know who my dad is. So he's saying hello. Hello. Yeah. All right, so let's see. Let's see what John Spirit has to say. Oh, one come out right away. Okay, we have the Six of Pentacles. Six, six of Pentacles. So, Six of Pentacles is about restoring balance in your life. Okay, this top row is all about being a little bit unbalanced. All the stuff that's coming in, all this stuff that's like blub lying in the outside world. It's kind of make you turn your head. What they're showing me is that you're supposed to be looking, let's say you're looking at these cards, but then there's noise, so you look over here. You still have these cards in front of you. They're still accessible, but you're looking this way. So this is about regaining your own balance and not looking at what other people's balance is doing, okay? What other people's um, scales are doing because they're trying to they're trying to balance out their scales your scales you have been doing a lot of work on so you're doing really good but sometimes the curiosity of it you start looking this way okay so he's saying concentrate on yours in other words mind your own business a funniest thing to say to somebody but uh, not surprising okay mind your peas and carrots is what's coming through uh, look at your own plate don't look at everybody else's plate. Look at your own. Okay. All right. So, the Seven of Hearts. Right. A lot of choices. Okay. So, the thing is, is that the Seven of Hearts also feels sometimes like there's too many choices. There's too many things to look at. There's too many bowls with too many choices. And I feel that um, he's, he's saying not to limit your choices, but again, we're going down the path of just pay attention to your own stuff. Okay? Don't look at everybody else's cups or what they're doing. Um, you don't live there anyway. You're probably all the way past what they're looking at, what they're trying to figure out. Again, it's something with curiosity of wanting to 
uh, see. The release card is telling me they're trying to release their own um, darkness, their 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 work, you know, their inner work, their their own personal demons, if you want. And you already had, you've already made your awesome choices. Look at these awesome choices. The ten of coins. It's like abundance. Okay, you're working towards your riches of everything, of internal, external, everything. You've got intuition working with you and you're aligning your chakras. So he's saying don't look too much at those choices. They're all looking, they would love to have yours. Theirs is not really at that point yet. They're still working on stuff, okay? King of Pentacles, right. So a lot of growth. They're going through a lot of growth spurts, okay? Uh, you as who you are, um, by the time the Taurus energy comes in, which is an earth sign energy, which I'm not sure if, uh, again, I'm starting to look into which ones are which. Uh, maybe you can let me know if the king is a Taurus sign. I know he's earth, okay? King of Pentacles is an earth sign. Um, the thing is, is that you are working towards, you're grounded, you're working through your, your, the way you feel from one end to another. So really focus on that. Focus on your own growth. Focus on your internal, on your abundance, everything that's coming in, your stability, okay? I feel like the King of Pentacles, a uh, very close cousin to the Emperor, okay? Like, Work on what it feels right for you. There's a lot of balance here. There's a lot of distraction. But it's time to focus back through. Work through your own fears and make your own way. That's basically what those really are right now. Okay. So in the middle, which is like at the heart of you. Okay. The top part is like conditions on the outside, what's going on. This is the clarity spread that I usually do. The middle part is really like what's at the core of you, what's at the heart of you. That's too many, but I'll take this one here that flipped. Okay, you have the two of hearts. And that already came the lovers, the lovers and the two of hearts, okay? So what you're working on, right, I'm going to put these here. What you're working on? is at your own sense of harmony. And like I said, the Four of Wands, this is like the table with the legs. They can be strong, but they can get a little, you know, unscrewed. So you might have to screw them back in to make sure that your table is is um, is very good. You have the two underneath here, so two and two and four. Okay, again, it's coming back in that you have to be working at this co continually to bring strength back to your table. Okay, you have the strength card here. So, it's something that you're working on internally. And we're going to have distractions. We're going to have things coming in. And it's easy to get distracted. Okay, it's easy to look out and go, Ooh, what's going on there? Okay, it's like uh, somebody... It's like traffic accidents. Okay, people who rubberneck it. It's not because we're mean. It's not because we're wishing. But it's because it's something exciting. Or something... I wouldn't say exciting. It makes it sound like, you know, Oh, yay, you're... you're um, your, your bad day is like an excitement for me, but it's just um, everyday life, everyday things that we do that are not as quite as brilliant, as shiny, as, you know, uh, distracting. Um, it's, an it's an attention getter. Whoa, what did I just see there? Ooh, the five of hearts, right. So I'm not going to take it, but I feel that he's saying with this is that other people's, for a lot of people in the world, other people's um, misfortune is some people's distraction. Okay. Thanks, Dad. Okay. So here we go. Unfortunately, we live in that world. Uh, by the way, I'm not that kind of person. If there is an accident and everybody's slowing down to see if there's, you know, bodies in the road, I'm usually the one beeping at them and telling them, just move and get out of the way and let these people do their jobs. You know, I'm a, I'm not very patient. I'm a nasty person when it comes to that stuff. I do not tolerate that very well because I find that just the lowest form of just mentioning it because it really annoys me. You have the ten of... 
pentacles here. So the Ten of Pentacles, again, the Ten of Coins, okay? So back to it, yes, back to it, between the strength and the lovers, okay? You have a lot of abundance coming in if you can just keep true to your road, to where you're going, okay? To just not following the crowd of watching the accidents of the world, okay? Concentrating on the solutions of the world instead of the accidents. Trying to be of help instead of a hindrance. Always coming through. This is always coming through, okay? That's a part that doesn't make a lot of sense to the world. Yeah. I just I do find that very despicable. I do find that despicable. There you go. Jane has something that she does not find. She has a hard time with. Yes, I do. Okay, so the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is about overcoming. Okay, so with love, we can overcome things. And as I was talking this morning, all of these distractions... If you can overcome it, your wheel of fortune will start spinning again, which is your wheel of cycles of things to come. And you're going to start getting moving, or that's three of wands. Okay, I'm hearing that again. What is that? That is very weird, you guys. I'm going to have to go investigate after this. Uh, <laughs> I always feel like I'm hearing a snake. Maybe I'm crazy. Okay, I am. I must be crazy. Okay, so the Seven of Wands right there. Overcoming. Overcoming difficulties. Overcoming these distractions. <laughs> Which I'm being distracted big time here. <sighs> okay. In the spirit. In the spirit realm. What are they saying? All of these conflicts. Everything that we're going through. There's clarity to be had. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there's clarity. King of Hearts, right? The King of Hearts. He is the king who sits uh, on his throne of emotional calm in a sea of turbulence. I mean, it kind of says it all, doesn't it? Okay, if you can rise up to these challenges, to these conflicts with calmness and you know, rationale and, and everything that you need to be aligned, working on yourself, uh, helping others um, instead of being distracted by the ridiculousness of everything, you're going to help, you're going to help yourself move forward, okay? And you're going to help others and yourself see clarity. So it's this full, this um, new moon in Scorpio, it's asking you to go in deeper, but deeper in the way of working through everything that needs to be released to get away from everybody who's screaming and trying to release the old stuff. This is all, all released. Like it's, I feel like I'm in a, in a, in, in a, you know those old movies where they have those, uh, the people who are, you know, uh, mentally distressed in wards and they're screaming and they're trying to calm down the people. I, I'm getting a lot of that right now. I'm getting a lot of madness. Okay. This is kind of letting you know. It's like, don't be too concerned with it. Okay. It's like growing pains. Things you have to do. Things that are going to be happening. And we started with the Queen of Wands. And we end with the Queen of Wands. Okay. So the Queen of Cups, right, Scorpio energy, don't go too deep into it, don't go too much in this Queen of Wands, into these distractions, okay, this big bright light of, of passionate energy being released. So there's truths to be had here, there's stuff to be known. The Three of Hearts, we had the Three of Wands, now we have the Three of Hearts, reconnection, okay. So this is what you really need to concentrate on. You're planning long term and reconnecting with yourself. The three for me with the three of pentacles, that would be perfect. It's like trust in energy, trust in spirit, go within yourself, okay? Or a very small group of people that you trust, 
okay, whose energies and vibes are the same as yours, okay? Form a circle, form a trio, form a, you know, a really tight-knit kind of energy form that um, if you're getting affected by these energies that you can tap into. I find, like I said, 10 minutes meditation every day, guys. Even if it's quieting your mind and thinking of one thing, it will do worlds for you at this point. Especially with what's going on right now. This will honestly work miracles on your mind. Um, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of nut stuff going on. So try to limit um, to the minimum. Okay, if you want to know what's going on in the world in case you know, you want to be, you know, you wouldn't want to be in the middle of something that you could possibly get yourself out of. But try to limit as much of the negative stuff that's coming in. The stuff where people are talking over each other, going, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. And then everything's wrong in the world and everything's going to hell. Try to minimize that as much as possible, this stuff right here. Try not to get too involved in it as well. Okay? So this is what I'm telling you for... Uh, and devote yourself to discovering the highest truths. That's that's so. I'm gonna get another one here from this. I'd like to thank my dad. I mean, he's really done a lot to explain here. Well, I feel anyway that you know. I feel like he's saying it's human evolution. Okay, we're just growing pains. Again, the growing pains. There's just so much going on. Okay, so there's two that can fly one. And, oh, I looked at something and it said 911. Okay. Know that truth. There's that. I can't make this up. Okay, we had that this morning and there's truth. Is a living force, whether you believe in it or not. Okay, try to avoid harmful influences. I can't, I can't make this up, you guys. Okay. So it's saying it. Find your truth for yourself. Be objective about everything that's coming in because a lot of it will be, I feel garbage. Okay, Pisces. And I feel a lot of people are going to be subscribing to that garbage. And you got to get yourself out of that. You've got to go inside. You've got to feel what's true. Even if you have to really hone in on your intuition to get to your own truth, I would really do that. Okay. Uh, work hard on that force of yourself because you are so much stronger than you know. You've been working on this for a long time, especially if you've been with me for a while. You have been working on yourself for a while. You have, you're much stronger than all of this, but it's going to feel like a force to reckon with. But all you really have to do is just kind of shut the door on it, okay? A little bit, a little bit. Like I said, I'm not into not hearing anything at all. I like to keep an eye out. But I won't, uh, I won't, I try not to fall into the rabbit hole of stuff. So please try to do the same. And that's how you're going to maneuver this new moon and Scorpio energy. And in the full moon in Taurus, it's a, it's a very, it's earth sign. Uh, so yeah, it's going to continue on. It's going to be in your face type of earth. It's, Taurus is all about basic needs and, and, you know, like, agriculture and food and the you know just the nitty-gritty of things so we're going to be going down to bare bones at one point here so just hang on and I'm going to be here every day twice a day to do your need reads and that's going to be working on you not outside influences you your internal compass okay to get you strong and wonderful and looking like a brand new penny when everything is starting to corrode and kind of break down We've got to keep, we've got to keep our, our, I'm hearing chi strong, but it's, we've got to keep our spirit strong. Okay, Pisces? I'm sending you lots of love, light, and blessings, and I will see you in tomorrow's reading. Take care.